compression system consists of a clutch and it consists of gearbox it consists of propeller shaft it consists of a differential gear these are the component of transmission shaft uh, this transmission system it is composed with clutch gearbox propeller shaft and a differential gear a differential shaft and a transmission system uses a clutch gearbox propeller shaft and a differential gear to transmit the power from engine to the road wheels the main function of all the components which are involved in transmission system is to transmit the power developed by the engine to the road wheels the power may be transmitted to rear or front or all the four wheels depending on the drive and according to the application required the clutch and gearbox varies the ratio of torque output to torque input the clutch and gearbox vary the ratio of torque output and to torque input the propeller shaft it is also one of the component of transmission system the propeller shaft transmits final torque to the rear axle from gearbox the propeller shaft it is one of the component of transmission system transmits final torque to the rear rear axle from gearbox a differential gear this is also one of the component of transmission system a differential gear equally distributes the final torque between the road wheels a differential gear it is also one of the component of transmission system which equally distributes the final torque between the road wheels okay in this section we are going to discuss brief about clutch clutch it is one component of one of the component of transmission system which transmit which supports in transmitting power from the engine to the road wheels and what are the functions of transmission system what transmission or whatever the components are there whatever whatever the components are there the components is clutch gearbox propeller shaft differential gear these uh, transmission system what they perform what they do the transmission system will perform it this transmission system disconnects engine from driving wheel when required the transmission system connects the engine to the driving wheels when required transmission system changes the ratio of torque output to torque input as desired and transmission system it turns the drive through a right angle it drives through a right angle okay these are the functions of what a transmission system what is the transmission system it is composed with clutch gearbox propeller shaft and a differential gear these are the functions of transmission system what are the functions of transmission system transmission system disconnects the engine from driving wheels when required transmission system connects the engine to the driving wheels when required it changes the ratio of torque output to torque input as desired it turns the drive through a right angle this is how what the transmission system perform then we should discuss in detail we are going to discuss what is clutch clutch you must have seen whether it is a two wheeler or four wheeler and the clutch will be there okay so a clutch is a mechanical device which engages and disengages power transmission especially from driving shaft to driven shaft okay clutch it is one of the component of transmission system a clutch is a mechanical device which engages and disengages power transmission especially from driving shaft to the driven shaft okay 
clutch clutch is a device used in transmission system of a motor vehicle to engage and disengage the engine to the transmission clutch is located generally this clutch this component it is the transmission component the clutch is located between engine and transmission it located between engine and transmission okay the clutch consists of the clutch consists of clutch fork thrust bearing diaphragm cover pressure plate clutch plate and a flywheel these are the different components composed by clutch okay what are then we have seen what is clutch clutch we have seen it is a mechanical device which engages and disengages power transmission especially from driving shaft to driven shaft this is how we are going to describe what is clutch and we have seen the clutch is composed with different components clutch fork thrust bearing diaphragm spring cover pressure plate clutch plate and a fly wheel okay then once when we describe what is clutch then we should see what are the functions of clutch and what clutch will perform okay what are the functions of when clutch is engaged when clutch is engaged the power flows from engine to the rear wheels through transmission system and the vehicle moves see remember whenever clutch is engaged first part you remember the vehicle is moving once vehicle is moving it indicates the clutch is engaged what happens when clutch is engaged when clutch is engaged the power flows from the engine to the rear wheels through the transmission system what are the through transmission system in the sense through a uh, gearbox propel propeller shaft and differential gear see it is an indication what indication once when vehicle is moving clutch is engaged what happens when clutch is engaged when clutch is engaged the power flows from engine to the rear wheels through the transmission system okay when the clutch is disengaged what at what situation clutch is disengaged if you are having a car driving a car one separate clutch this thing will be there then you are pressing that once when you are pressing pressing, pressing the clutch pedal that indicates clutch is disengaged when the clutch is disengaged the power is not transmitted to the rear wheels the power is not transmitted to the rear wheels and the vehicle stops and the vehicle stops while the engine is still running while the engine is still running see once when you press the clutch plate that is clutch is disengaged the vehicle is going to stop but the power will not be transmitted from engine to the rear wheels but even in spite of the vehicle stopped the power is not transmitting to the rear wheels clutch is disengaged during this situation also engine is still running engine is still running okay what are the situations clutch is disengaged generally the clutch is disengaged when starting the engine for starting the engine clutch is disengaged when shifting the gears when changing the gears the clutch is disengaged when stopping the vehicle the clutch is disengaged when idling the engine the clutch is disengaged see again you see what are the situations clutch is disengaged clutch is disengaged during starting of the engine when shifting the gears when stopping the vehicle and when idling the engine these are the situations where clutch is disengaged the clutch is kept engaged when the vehicle is moving remember once when the vehicle is moving it indicates clutch is engaged the clutch is kept engaged when 
the vehicle is moving when the vehicle is moving okay the clutch also permits gradual taking up of the load okay to prevent the jerks in the vehicle movement the clutch always permits the gradual taking up of the load gradual taking up of the load okay these are the important functions of clutch okay and uh, and this is the figure of clutch what you can see clutch is a mechanical device which transmits motion from one shaft to another shaft okay clutch it is a machine member transmission system which connects the driving shaft to the driven shaft so that the driven shaft may be started or stopped whenever needed without stopping the driving shaft the, this is the picture of clutch i think you must have seen in our workshop in our lab see this is the location of clutch this is the location of clutch this is the location of clutch this is the location you can see this is the at the bottom engine you can see clutch is there after the engine clutch is there then front the wheels are there differentially there rear axle you can see universal joints you can see you can see the crankshaft okay that means the clutch is placed between engine and rear wheels you can see the figure this is the location of clutch this is the location of the clutch this is the location of the clutch then what are the required now we have seen and we have described what is clutch and we have seen what are the components composed by the clutch and we have seen what are the functions of the clutch okay so remember the clutch okay whenever the clutch is engaged that means the vehicle is moving the power is transmitted from engine to the rear wheels okay once when clutch is disengaged power transmission from engine to rear wheels is stopped okay uh, then the vehicle stops but still the engine is working okay and uh, what are the situations uh, the clutch is disengaged during starting of the engine during stopping of the engine during changing the gears during idling of the engine these are the situations where clutch is disengaged okay at what situation clutch is engaged clutch is engaged once when the vehicle is moving okay once when vehicle is moving it is understood clutch is engaged okay now we have seen the functions of clutch this define description of the clutch and we should see what are the minimum requirement of clutch so as to have a better efficient clutch okay so see the clutch the requirement of clutch it should be able to transmit the maximum torque of the engine okay the clutch should be able to transmit the maximum torque of the engine it should engage gradually to avoid sudden jerk don't press the uh, clutch plate suddenly gradually engage it it should engage gradually to avoid sudden jerks okay it should be able to dissipate a large amount of heat generated during clutch operation it should be able to dissipate a large amount of heat generated during clutch operation it should be dynamically balanced particularly in case of high speed engine clutches it should be dynamically balanced particularly in case of high speed engine clutches okay and it should have a suitable mechanism it should have a suitable mechanism to damp vibrations and to eliminate noise produced during power transmission it should clutch should have a suitable mechanism to damp vibrations and to eliminate noise produced during power transmission okay it should be as small as possible in size 
so that it will occupy minimum space. The clutch should be as small as possible in size so that it will occupy minimum space. It should be easy to operate. It should be easy to operate requiring no little, it should be easy to operate so that only little exertion is possible on part of driver. Okay, so it should be as light as possible. The clutch should be as light as possible so that it will continue to rotate. It will continue to rotate for any length of time after clutch has been dis disengaged. Okay, if it is uh, heavy, what happens? The inertial balancing problem will come so that the clutch should be as light as possible so that it will continue to rotate for any length of time after the clutch has been disengaged, okay? And the clutch must be trouble free and have longer life. The clutch must be trouble free and have longer life. The clutch must be easy to inspect. It should be easy to adjust and easy to repair the important quality of uh, requirement of clutch it must be easy to inspect it must be easy to adjust and it should be easy to repair these are the important uh, requirements of clutch okay generally the clutch lining materials are made up of the clutch lining materials are made up of leather you note down which are not listed here the clutch lining materials are made up of leather cork fabric asbestos etc the lining clutch lining materials are made up of leather cork fabric asbestos etc and why why the clutch lining is necessary this is very very important you can see here in you can see the figure uh, here the lining you can find you can find the lining why that lining is necessary why that lining is necessary the lining is necessary to transmit maximum power from engine flywheel to transmission without jerks the clutch lining is very very important in transmitting maximum power from engine flywheel to transmission without jerks to dissipate the heat and able to withstand higher heat generated. To dissipate the heat and able to withstand higher heat generation. The clutch lining should have a higher coefficient of friction. The clutch lining should have a higher coefficient of friction. And clutch lining should be easily available and can be easily manufactured. Clutch lining should be easily available and easily manufactured and clutch you at, at what situation clutch is used already it is discussed disconnecting the engine with gearbox for starting the engine for changing the gears for stopping the engine or for moving the vehicle these are the situations where clutch is used then we should see on what principle clutch will work what are the principles on what principle clutch will work on what principle clutch will work see the clutch works on the principle of friction okay when two surfaces are brought in contact with each other and pressed any two metal body when two surfaces are brought in contact with each other and pressed they are united due to friction between them okay the friction the amount of friction depends on the area of contact the amount of friction depends on the area of contact pressure applied on them and coefficient of friction on the surface of the material okay again i will repeat the principle of operation the clutch works on the principle of friction when two surfaces are brought in contact with each other and pressed, they are united due to friction between them. 
okay the amount of friction depends on area of contact pressure applied upon them and coefficient of friction on the surface of the material the two surfaces can be separated on brought in contact when required okay what are the two surfaces one is considered as driving member and the other is driven member the two surfaces can be separated and brought in contact when required one is considered driving member and other driven member the driving member is kept rotating the driving member the driving member is connected to the flywheel the driving member is kept rotating when the driven member is brought in contact with the driving member it also start rotating see i will repeat the driving member it is connected to the flywheel the driving member is kept rotating when the driven member when the driven member is brought in contact with the driving member the driven member also start rotating okay yes when the driven member is separated from driving member when the driven member is separated from the driving member then after separation the driven member will not revolve the driven member again i will repeat when the driven member is separated from the driving member the driven member driven member will not revolve will not rotate will not rotate okay the here on this is the mathematical principle t equal to mu w r where w is axial load applied mu coefficient of friction between the surfaces t the torque transmitted torque transmitted or effective mean radius of friction surface the contact surface or the effective mean radius of friction surface this is how it is going to happen now now we should see how the clutches are classified what are the different types of clutches now we should see how the clutches are classified what are the different types of clutches what are the different types of clutches the clutches you can find first one is friction clutch in this clutches are classified as single plate clutch multi plate clutch cone clutch and second one is centrifugal clutch third one is semi centrifugal clutch fourth one is conical spring clutch or diaphragm clutch then fifth one positive clutch hydraulic clutch electromagnetic clutch vacuum clutch overrunning clutch or free wheel clutch these are the different types of clutches friction clutch in this friction clutch we are going to discuss about single plate clutch multi plate clutch cone clutch centrifugal clutch semi centrifugal clutch conical spring clutch positive clutch hydraulic clutch electromagnetic clutch vacuum clutch or running clutch but in this different types of clutches we are going to discuss mainly our focus is on friction clutches and centrifugal and centri semi centrifugal clutches these are the things we are going to discuss and other types of clutches are not commercially much used in automobiles they are used only on special particular application of vehicle whereas the friction clutches centrifugal clutches semi centrifugal clutches are used in almost all the automobile vehicles which are on road okay we'll discuss one by one this is the single plate clutch this is the finger of uh, schematic diagram of this single plate clutch you see the figure then i will explain how it is going to be single plate clutch you can see it has only one clutch plate i will bring the cursor here so that you will understand this is the clutch plate the cursor is there it has only one clutch plate mounted on splines of 
clutch shaft mounted on the splines of clutch shaft okay mounted on the splines and pressure plate you can see here the pressure plate this is the pressure plate the pressure plate is bolted to the flywheel is bolted to the flywheel through clutch springs through clutch springs and is free to slide on the clutch shaft when the clutch pedal is operated when the clutch pedal is operated okay it is having a single plate it is having only one clutch plate which is mounted on splines of clutch shaft pressure plate is mounted is bolted to the flywheel through clutch springs and is free to slide on the clutch shaft when the clutch pedal is operated when the clutch pedal is operated okay when the clutch pedal is pressed when the the pedal which is on the driver's foot or uh, on the driver's hand once when the clutch pedal is pressed the pressure plate moves back again as you see the figure when the clutch pedal is pressed the pressure plate moves back again as the force of springs and clutch plate becomes free between the flywheel and the pressure plate okay i will repeat once again you see the figure when the clutch pedal is pressed the pressure plate moves back again as the force of the spring and clutch plate becomes free between the flywheel and the pressure plate okay uh, the flywheel remains rotating the flywheel remains rotating that means once when the press uh, this uh, clutch pedal is pressed that means clutch is disengaged okay during that situation the flywheel remains rotating as long as engine is running the flywheel remains rotating as long as the engine is running and the clutch shaft and the clutch shaft speed reduces slowly and finally stops rotating the clutch shaft okay the clutch shaft speed reduces slowly and finally stops rotating okay this is how once when the clutch play clutch pedal is pressed as soon as the pedal is pressed as soon as the pedal is pressed the clutch is said to be disengaged i was telling once you once when your foot or in your hand or the whatever the clutch pedal is there yeah you once when you press it that means the clutch is said to be disengaged otherwise it remains engaged due to spring forces only once when the clutch uh, pedal is pressed that time the clutch is disengaged otherwise the clutch clutch is in engaged position due to spring forces okay this is how the clutch it is going to operate okay this is the figure you can see okay this is the figure you can see this is how it is going to operate uh, why again telling repeatedly the pressure is the, the same working principle we can notice in case of multi plate clutch also only their number of uh, plates are more okay this is how it is going to happen see only one clutch plate is there pressure plate is uh, Uh, bolted and uh, once when the clutch is uh, once when clutch is press clutch pedal is pressed that means clutch is said to be disengaged and uh, it uh, the pressure pedal goes back and the crankshaft will keep on rotating as long as engine is wor uh, working and the clutch spring speed reduces and stops finally okay this is how once when the clutch pedal is pressed that means clutch once when the clutch pedal is pressed that means clutch is disengaged otherwise the clutch is engaged with the spring force with the this is how the single plate clutch it works then what are the advantages of the single plate clutch and what are the disadvantage of the single plate clutch and where these clutches are used what are the advantages and disadvantages of single plate clutch where these are used 
and as far as the advantage is concerned it is smooth in operation the pedal movement is less and hence gear changing is easier this is more reliable this is more reliable okay and it consists of a flat surface okay very less heat is generated as only one clutch plate is used the another advantage of this single plate clutch is very less heat is generated as only one clutch plate is used the operation in this type of clutch is very fast compared to multi plate clutch or cone clutch or other type of clutches and what are the disadvantages of the clutches the spring stiffness required is more hence greater force is required for disengaging the clutch spring stiffness required is more hence greater force is required for disengaging the clutch another disadvantage associated with single plate clutch is the capacity of torque transmission is less the capacity of torque transmission is less the size of this clutch is big even for less torque transmission okay it is a dry clutch so it is required to prevent from moisture it it should be required to prevent from moisture okay chance of uh, wear and tear is high in single plate clutch compared with multi plate clutch and the cone clutch okay these are these are the disadvantage associated with this single plate clutch and as far as the applications of the single plate where it is used in the sense you can see it is used in ford ford uh, v8 car tata trucks it is used in premier president it is used in hindustan ambassador it is used in bajaj matador it is used in mahindra jeep these are the vehicles where single plate clutch it is used i now we should see the multi plate clutch this is the multi plate clutch as the name itself indicate here the number of clutches number of clutch plates are more more than one in the previous case single plate clutch we noticed we seen only one plate clutch okay okay as far as the working principle of the multi plate clutch is same compared to this thing, uh, single plate clutch okay this is the figure you can see and the multi plate clutch here you can see you can see the figure the multi plate clutch consists of a number of clutch plates instead of only one clutch plate as in case of single plate clutch which we have seen as the number of clutch plates increase the number of friction surfaces which increases the capacity of uh, the clutch to transmit the torque from engine to the uh, road wheels okay one as the number of clutch plates increases the contact surface number of contact surface also increases so that more uh, the increases the capacity of uh, more torque will be transmitted more torque will be transmitted compared to the single plate clutch okay the clutch plates are alternately fixed to engine shaft and gear box you can see the figure the clutch plates are alternately fixed to engine shaft and the gear shaft and clutch plates are firmly pressed you can see they are firmly pressed by strong coil springs and assembled in a drum and they are assembled in a drum okay in the multi plate clutch works the working principle is same as we noticed in what is the same once when the uh, pedal uh, clutch pedal is pressed what is going to happen the uh, what is this the pressure plate will move back with the spring force okay and uh, the crankshaft will be rotating as long as the engine works okay so once when the clutch plate is uh, pressed it is that means the clutch is disengaged otherwise the clutch is engaged this is the working principle of single plate clutch the same working principle here also it is used only the difference is that here the number of plates are more due to number of uh, more clutch plates more surface uh, friction surface area 
so that more torque will be transmitted compared to single plate clutch this is what we can see in this multi plate clutch and uh, what are the advantages of this multi plate clutch compared to single plate clutch and where these are used okay so multi plate clutch transmits high torque because the number of clutch uh, the mating surfaces will increase multi plate clutch transmits more torque because of the number of friction surfaces the overall diameter of multi plate clutch is uh, reduced compared to single plate clutch and transmits the torque okay the where it is used multi plate clutch multi plate clutch is used in heavy vehicles in racing cars it is used in heavy vehicles and in racing cars it is used in heavy vehicles and in racing cars okay now this is how the multi plate clutch and single plate clutch it works now we should see the cone clutch we should see the cone clutch now we should see the cone clutch okay so as far as this cone clutch is concerned you can see the figure this cone clutch consists of a friction surface in the form of cone so in the previous case we have seen the single plate clutch and the multi plate clutch it is a flat friction surface but in cone cone clutch consists of a friction surface in the form of cone in the form of cone okay the engine crankshaft consists of a see you can see the engine crankshaft consists of a female cone you can see the engine crankshaft consists of a female cone okay generally the male cone you can see the male cone the male cone is mounted on the spline clutch shaft okay it is mounted on the spline clutch shaft okay female clutch and male clutch okay it has a friction surfaces in the conical portion so i will tell you so the, i will bring the cursor this is the friction surface conical this is the friction surface once when they brought in contact okay in this a uh, cone friction friction surfaces or the conical portion the male cone can slide on the clutch shaft always the male uh, male cone will slide on the clutch shaft cone clutches are generally used in low peripheral speed vehicles okay and how this clone clutch works i will explain this is a cone clutch this serves the same purpose as the single plate clutch however in, in this case instead of mating two spinning disc the cone clutch uses two conical surfaces to transmit the torque by friction the cone clutch transfers a higher torque than the plate or multi plate clutch for the same size due to wedging action and increased surface area remember this is the advantage also compared with the single plate and multi plate clutch as far as the cone clutch is concerned the cone clutch transfers higher torque than the plate or disc clutches of the same size due to wedging action and increased surface area cone clutches are generally now available for low peripheral applications although they were uh once commonly used in all the automobiles but as of today in modern car these are replaced by the single plate clutches <clears throat> and its application presently it is restricted to low peripheral speed vehicles okay cone clutches are usually now confined to very specially transmissions in racing rallying or in extreme conditions where the cone clutches are used and what are the advantages of cone clutch what are the advantages of cone clutch compared to other clutches 
okay what are the advantages of cone clutch can, compared to other clutches okay so here you can see okay small egg you see when compared to single plate clutch the normal force friction surface is greater than the axial force okay the axial force required by this plate cone clutch is less compared to single plate or multi plate clutch and this cone clutch it is simple in design another advantage one more advantage associated with this cone clutch is for a given dimension the torque transmitted by cone clutch is higher than that of a single plate clutch then what are the disadvantages the major disadvantage associated with this is uh, it may not be efficient at lower cone angles it is very difficult to dis it is difficult to disengage the clutch if cone angle is less than 20 degree okay the disadvantage associated with this cone clutch is it is difficult to disengage the clutch if cone angle is less than 20 degree as one cone tends to bind in the other even small even a small amount of wear on friction surface even a small amount of wear on friction surface results in more axial movement of cones more axial movements of cones okay and these are and uh, another disadvantage associated with this is um, the tendency to grab it is reduces in this case compared with single plate clutch and where these clutch where cone clutches are used as i said these are only used in specialized transmissions particularly in racing rallying or in extreme off road transmission vehicles these cone clutches are used the cone clutches are used and one more uh, this thing is left out this is centrifugal clutch this is also very very important clutch and which is more predominantly used in modern cars but single plate clutch and multi plate clutch these are the clutches which are more used in maximum road vehicles and as for the centrifugal clutch is concerned uh, this uh, this is the figure how as for the centrifugal clutch you can see here this is how it the centrifugal clutch uses centrifugal force instead of spring force for keeping it engaged position also it does not require clutch pedal to operate in case of cone clutch in case of a single plate clutch in case of multi plate clutch for operating the clutch the clutch clutch pedal is needed whereas the in centrifugal clutch the clutch pedal is not needed and here the centrifugal force instead of spring force is used for the clutch to be in engaged position in engaged position the clutch is operated automatically depending upon the engine speed the clutch the centrifugal clutch is operated automatically depending upon the engine speed the engine can be stopped in gear without stalling the engine can be started in any gear by pressing the accelerator position which is not the case in case of single plate multi plate or cone clutch okay in single plate clutch in multi plate clutch in cone clutch the engine is stopped engine is started at neutral position whereas in case of uh, centrifugal clutch okay the plus point is the engine can be stopped in gear without stalling the engine engine can be started in any gear by pressing the accelerator pedal which is not the case in case of this thing and uh, if you see here okay so it consists of uh, you can see the figure i will explain it consists of weight a you can see the figure a it consists of uh, weight a pivoted it consists of weight a pivoted at b it is pivoted at b when the engine speed increases when the engine speed increases 
the weights fly off due to centrifugal force the weights fly off due to centrifugal force operating the bell clank lever p operate see you can see the i, I am bringing the cursor here i am bringing the cursor you can see here p okay uh, uh, when the engine speed increases the weights the a point a the weights fly off due to centrifugal force operating the bell crank lever p which presses the c you, i am bringing the cursor which presses the which presses the c the moment of plate c presses the spring e the moment of this uh, c it presses the spring e it presses the spring e okay which ultimately presses the clutch plate d this is the d is the clutch plate which ultimately presses the clutch plate d on the flywheel again as the spring g again as the spring g you can see here again as the spring g the spring g keeps the clutch disengaged the spring g keeps the clutch disengaged at low speeds at about 500 rpm okay if any speed is more than 500 rpm the clutch will be in the engaged position only okay this is how the uh, centrifugal clutch works then what are the advantages of this centrifugal clutch okay as far as the advantages of this centrifugal clutch are concerned it is easier for driver since the operation becomes simple how okay generally in other clutches and all uh, the engine has to be started the engine has to be started at neutral position but here it is not the case engine can be stopped at in gear position without stalling the engine or engine can be started in gear position by pressing the accelerator pedal okay this means it is easier for driver since the operation becomes simpler okay another advantage associated with this is it is low in price it is low in price compared to other clutches it requires very little maintenance it requires very little maintenance it requires very little maintenance the engaging speed can be precisely controlled by the selecting the springs overall operation can be extremely efficient and effective compared to other clutches the major disadvantage associated with this is the power transmission is limited due to slippage there is a slippage chance is there during disengaging the clutch okay and the power transmission is totally dependent on controlling speed this is another disadvantage and where these uh, centrifugal clutches are used these centrifugal clutches are used in scooters in mopeds in go kart you can note down it is not there here the applications where these uh, centrifugal clutches are used in scooters in mopeds in go kart in chainsaw in law mover lawn l a w n lawn movers in textile industries centrifugal clutches are used centrifugal clutches are used in scooters mopeds go kart lawn movers in textile industries and another one is left out as far as the semi centrifugal clutch is concerned it is ex the operation and everything is similar except the clutch and surface will be in the semi circular semi centrifugal force this is how semi centrifugal clutch it work the working principle is exactly similar similar to what we found in case of centrifugal clutch